Hey guys, this is how to manually charge a customer inside Stripe. So you have to be inside your Stripe uh, dashboard. So um, you pretty much have to have a Stripe account. So go to stripe.com, sign up if you don't. And then afterwards you have to like, um, you know, connect your bank account and all that stuff, put your business info in. That video is not about this. Um, this video is about how to manually charge a customer and create a customer too. So pretty much this is, um, this is the sample account we have. So I'm gonna head over to right here. What you have to do is from here, you can click customer or customer. It's gonna open up. You have to create a customer. Now you can create a customer from here. What we're gonna do in this case is it's a bit easier. You can skip a step. You can create a customer, add them in. That's totally fine. That's not an issue. Um, you can skip a step though and go to invoices. What you do is you go over here and you click new. Now from right here, you can either pick a customer that was in that list or click add new customer. In this case, we're going to do Jane Doe 3, Jane at Jane D at Doe.com. All right, cool. And so you can add a description in if you want to describe them. If you need their address, different stuff, you can do that. At a bare minimum, all you need is the person's email. You don't have to enter in their name, but I like to. All right, cool. So add the customer. So pretty much what you do is now you have to add a product. Now you can pre-make new, you can pre-make products. Like for example, if you're going to sell things like a package one, um, you can have standard pricing, package pricing, it all depends. And then you have to set a price. For example, we're just going to do 100, add product. Let's say for example, you're on the phone with somebody and you just uh, don't want to charge them. Um, what, what you can do is, um, you know, just, you just pretty much make a different item. Um, you just charge like whatever you want, put the price in there, and then you just you know remove item. All right, I guess you have to add an item to do that. You can just um, just type something in here too. So um, for example, console consultation fee. If you want to go ahead and do that, you can just punch that in. Just make it whatever. These are just examples. Um, it just depends how you want to do it. So you have to enter uh, something in. Um, you can do this at the end after you take the card details. It's really up to you. And so one thing you have to do, and this is the important part of how you actually charge them on the phone, is if you just want to send this invoice to somebody, you can just send the invoice out. Um, what we're going to do in this case is I'm showing you how to charge an account on file. So pretty much if they already have the card on file, you can go up here and just click charge customer. But this one doesn't have a payment method. So like if you were on the phone and you needed to create a customer, let's say you were doing a paid consult or you had a bid or like you just you know, had a sales call and you closed the person, um, yeah, you, you can do it like this. Or if you had an existing customer or whatever, you click add payment method. From here, you would just add the payment method. I'm gonna pause the call and, and do that real quick. Or actually, I don't really need to do that. So pretty much you're just gonna add the credit card info in there. You're gonna add the date, expiration date. You're gonna click add. Um, all right, cool. So let's see if it works. All right, so I don't wanna stick real card info in there. So what's gonna happen after this is you're gonna click add. After you click add, what's gonna happen is you're gonna be able to charge the person. And so after that, a little screen's gonna pop up that uh, indicates that um, uh, you need to enter the password, so make sure and have the password with you for the account. Um, if you're like me, uh, use LastPass, um, that'll save the password in there. But that way, like if you're on the phone with a customer or sitting down with somebody, you don't really want to, um, yeah, what you don't want to have happen is that you have to like do forgot password, go get it, go get it. You just want to be able to charge them and then call it done. So you, from this, uh, you would just click add. It's not going to do that. And at that point, there's just going to be a button to click that, and you can just click charge customer or there's just gonna be a button down here that just says charge payment method on file. And that is how you char manually charge a customer in Stripe.